In summer, we wear live clothes, bring cold drinks, and sit under the air condition. But in winter, we wear heavy clothes, drink hot drinks. All that in order to cope with the environment condition. This behavior is called adaptation. And adaptation is one of the most important characteristics of living organism because it helps them to survive. And when a living organism fails to adapt, it dies out. Let's just what happened with the dinosaurs when they failed to adapt to the first change in the environment due to the meteoroid impact. They all extinct. And through our lesson, we will discuss the adaptation and its types, and then we will look to some mechanism of adaptation in living organisms. So why do adaptation and diversity of living organisms take place? Because animals live in different environments and different conditions, so they have different mechanisms to cope with their environment. For example, the camel leg end with a thick, flat bed to enable it wandering through the hot desert sand. But the horse leg end with a solid, strong hoof to help it go through the rocky soil. So the modification of a living organism's behavior or body structure or biological function of its organ to become more adapt to cope with the environment condition, we call that adaptation. And we have three types of adaptation. Structural adaptation, which is a modification in the structure of one of body organs, like the camel bed structure. We have behavioral adaptation, it's the modification in the behavior of a living organism at a certain time, like the bird migration and a functional adaptation which is a modification in the function of some tissue to do specific function like secreting sweat in humans and secreting basil in snakes so while the secreting of sweat in humans in case of high temperature is considered a functional adaptation because it represents a modification in a specific organ to be able to do a specific function which is Secreting sweat. And the bird migration is a behavioral adaptation because it represents a modification in a behavior of the bird in a certain time in order to survive. So, why animals adapt or why all living organisms try to adapt? So, the reason for that to grow in different environments, to get food from surrounding environment and to escape from the enemy or hunt their prey. And now let's see some mechanism of adaptation. So we have adaptation and erosion, the adaptation and nature of food, and adaptation and environment. So as we know, mammals live in various environments and move in different ways. Some of them swim, fly, climb, or even walk. But notice, notice that the limb of all mammals have the same bone structure with some modification to help them in their way or style of movement. So for example, the whale, dolphins, and sea lions, the front limb are modified to become paddles to perform the function of swimming. So, the same five bones of our fingers as you see them, but they had modified to become battles to swim. The bat, the front limb, modified to become wing to perform the function of flying. As you see, it has the same structure of our hand, but the fingers became tall to become wings. The horse, the front limb, modified to become leg to perform the function of running. Monkeys and gorilla, the long arm are due to the elongation of the bones. They have long bones 
to perform the function of climbing. And that is a structural adaptation because the structure of the organ change. Next, the adaptation and the nature of food. We'll see the adaptation in birds and plants in order to get the food. So the bird, the feed on meat, the predatory birds like hawks and vultures, they have a strong, sharp, crooked beaks to help them tear prey's flesh. And they have four bendable fingers ending in a strong and sharp claws. Three anterior, meaning pointing in front, and one posterior, meaning backward, to control and bouncing the prey, to help them controlling the prey. Then, the bear that feed on worms, snails, like heron and hoop, they have long, thin beaks to help them catch or pick up the worms and snails, and they have long, thin legs with long, thin fingers to help them walk in water. And the bird that feed on mussels and fish, like ducks and geese, they have barn legs to help them swimming, the barn legs, and they have indented beaks to help them filter food from water. And that also is structural adaptation. So what if I told you that there is a plant that eats flesh, a predator plant, would you believe me? So let's see. We call them, we call them insectivores because they are self-feeding, autotrophic, meaning autotrophic, they make their own food through photosynthesis, but they can take the nitrogenous substance from the soil, so they take the protein from outside source, like insects. Like Drosera, Bionia, and Pitcher plant, and some of the leaves in those plants are modified to help them capture, digest and the insect and then absorb the nitrogenous substance they need. It's said sometimes it takes a wrong turn to get you to the right place. But landing up in this nightmarish neighborhood is purely a stroke of bad luck. For these Venus flytraps are hungry for flesh. With just a touch to one, and then two of the microscopic hair triggers, the plant's jaws trap the prey, setting in motion a bizarre all-in-one digestive system. The sealed pod floods with a lethal brew of digestive juices. Its mouth becomes its stomach, and finally its intestines as it absorbs the nutrients. But this isn't the most efficient system, for a missed meal means energy wasted. High up above the flytraps, fellow carnivores, the pitcher plants, are a little more proficient. They're passive hunters firmly rooted in one spot. These plants make no attempt to hide in ambush. Once on the lip, the insect is as good as dead. Downward-facing hairs prevent a good foothold. The toxic nectar drugs them. Deep, waxy walls make it too slippery to crawl out. Others are also fighting for their lives. All the while, without their knowing, they're already part of the digestive process. Their remains will soon become part of the existing graveyard. The greatest guzzlers belong to the tropical pitcher family sporting deep tubular pits filled with flesh-dissolving enzymes 
It's like an open-ended stomach. Any animal small enough to fit through the mouth of the death pit is fair game. die by drowning, while their flesh slowly dissolves. And that also is structural adaptation. So then the adaptation of animals and their environment. So some adaptation in living organism with their in surrounding environment change, like hibernation, estivation, birds migration, and camouflage. Hibernation is the behavior through which some animals stay dormant and stop most of their vital activities to avoid the low temperature in winter. Like some lizards, insects, they hide in burrows during winter. Some toads, frogs, they bury themselves in the mud, stop feeding, and even lower their heart rates to survive the winter. And in spring, when the environmental conditions become favorable, they return to their normal activities. Estivation is like hibernation but happen in the summer. So estivation is the behavior through which some animals stay dormant and stop most of their vital activity to avoid the extreme temperature in summer. Like Jiriboa, it's a rodent animal, that desert snails and some insects. Bird migration it's the in inherited behavior in some species of bird, where they migrate from cold for reproduction. And all that is a behavioral adaptation. So hibernation, estivation, and bird migration are behavioral adaptation because they change the behavior in certain times in order to survive. Last thing, the camouflage. It's the ability of some living organism to be hidden from their enemies or to capture their prey in their surroundings. Like the leaf insect, it has structural adaptation because the camouflage came from the change in their body structure. The stick insect, also a structural adaptation because the camouflage came from the change in their body structure. And the chameleon, the ability to change its color, it's a functional adaptation because the scales has a modification to do that change of colors. 